Hi everyone, my name is Dmitry Soldatkin. I am a senior ML specialist solution architect with Amazon Web Services. And today I'm going to demonstrate how to use various deployment options and optimization techniques when deploying foundation models on Amazon SageMaker. In this session, I'm going to show you how to choose different deployment options for different use cases when you're deploying models on a SageMaker. We will cover two use cases. First, open-ended generation. Typically, this use case happens in a chatbot and QA types of applications. Main feature of this use case is unpredictable number of input and output tokens. Second, it's a text summarization use case. We usually have some idea on a number of input tokens and desired number of output tokens during this use case. Let's take a look at what we have in our deployment toolkit. LMI containers are a set of high-performance Docker containers purposely built for large language model inference. With these containers, you can leverage high-performance open-source inference libraries like VLLM, TensorRT LLM, and DeepSpeed to deploy LLMs on Amazon SageMaker endpoints. These containers bundle together a model server with open source inference libraries to deliver all-in-one LLM serving solution. We also provide quick start notebooks to get you deployed popular open source models in minutes and advanced guides to maximize performance of your uh, endpoint. VLLM is a fast and easy to use library for LLM inference. It doesn't require model compilation and it's more flexible with respect to input and output length variability. VLLM has the following features. It has state-of-the-art serving throughput Efficient management of attention key and value memory with the mechanism called paged attention. Continuous batching of incoming requests. Support for several models quantization techniques like GPTQ and AWQ. Tensor RTLLM is the open source library that provides users with the easy to use Python API to define large language models and build TensorRT engines that contains state-of-the-art optimization to perform inference efficiently on NVIDIA GPUs. TensorRT LLM is a good choice for low variability use cases like information instruction and summarization. Finally, quantization. Quantization is the model compression technique. The goal is to reduce the computational and memory cost of running inference by representing the weights and activation with low precision data types like floating point 16 bits or even 8 bit integers instead of using full precision 32 bits floating point numbers. There are different techniques GPTQ, AWQ, and smooth quant. In this demo, we are going to deploy AWQ quantized model. LMI offers multiple inference backend options. Each backend offers support for certain model architectures and exhibits unique features and performance characteristics. In order to achieve the best performance for your use case, we recommend evaluating multiple backends to understand which one works best for you. To help you with choosing the right hosting option, we created the following flowchart. Let's open the demo notebook on Amazon SageMaker Studio and look at code examples. In this notebook, we will deploy a LAMA to 70 billion parameter model on Amazon SageMaker using large model inference containers. First, we will deploy this model with VLLM backend for chatbot use case. 
then we will use tensor RT LLM to deploy this model for text summarization use case. And finally, we will deploy AWQ quantize model with VLLM and compare the performance to our first use case. Let's get started. In the first few cells, we install required Python libraries and initialize SageMaker environment. LMI containers offer low code deployment options. All you need is to set several environment variables like model ID and rolling batch, and LMI container will take care of the inference logic. So let's deploy our model using LMI container and VLLM backend. Using AWS Python SDK, it takes three steps to deploy the model to SageMaker endpoint. First, we need to create a model object that specifies the model weight location and which container to use during inference. For the purpose of this demo, we already uploaded the model to S3 bucket and we will use version 0.27 of the LMI container. Second step, we need to create an endpoint configuration which defines the instance type, timeouts, and routing strategy. We will use G5 2x large instance and our latest optimization routing strategy, which in our internal test reduces latency by 33% for certain use cases. And finally, we will create the endpoint and wait for it to be ready. Please note that the provisioning of the endpoint can take up to 10 minutes. We are going to pause this video and resume when it's ready. Okay, the endpoint is ready. Let's test it. I'm going to ask the model if it knows anything about SageMaker. And as you can see, it does. And the answer is fairly good. No hallucinations. Next, we are going to test the performance of the endpoint. We are going to send exactly the same prompt 10 times and see what would be average response time. Running the test. And we got the results. So on average, it, will, it took eight seconds to get the response from the model. Just a reminder, don't forget to clean up all the resources after you're done with this demo, so you won't get charged for the resources you don't use. Let's deploy the model for the text summarization use case. We are going to use LMI container with Tensor RT LLM backend. We will repeat the same three steps, model creation, endpoint configuration, and endpoint. But this time, we are going to use a different serving, con serving container, and we are going to use a bigger instance. In this case, 16x large. The only reason we need a bigger instance is because SageMaker will need to compile the model into optimized tensor RT format during the deployment process. The compilation process requires more CPU memory and it will take slightly longer to wait till the endpoint is ready. We are doing this um, just in time compilation for the demo purpose only. You can choose to compile the model ahead of time and if you do that, you won't need a bigger instance and you won't have this additional wait time. Okay, let's go through the steps, model endpoint configuration and the endpoint. Endpoint is ready. Let's ask uh, this model exactly the same question. What does it know about Amazon SageMaker? 
it's hard to say, but it looks like result is almost identical. And let us run performance test. Okay, we got the results back. The runtime is almost identical. In our final test, we will deploy AWQ quantize model using LMI container and VLLM backend and compare performance to our first use case. You should be familiar with the process by now. We are creating the model objects. Note that we have to specify that we use quantize model. Then we create the endpoint configuration. This time again, we are going to use 2x large instance. And finally, we'll create the endpoint and wait for it to be ready. Our endpoint is ready. Let's test if our endpoint is working. Okay, we got the results back. And now we are going to run the performance test. As you can see, the quantize model is a lot faster. But it might be less accurate is a trade-off you have to consider increased performance versus potential loss of accuracy. We advise you to evaluate this trade-off very carefully and test the model accuracy on your data before you make a decision. Okay, we are done with the demo. Just a reminder, don't forget to clean up the resources so you are not charged for anything you don't use. Here's the link to the notebook we used in this demo and uh, several links to the documentation if you want to learn more about the topics we discussed through this demo. Thank you very much for your time. Hopefully you've enjoyed this session and if you have some free time, please join us in the next session.